Today, I'm going to talk to you about potentially three parts of your total monthly mortgage payment that not enough people are paying attention to when they're thinking about buying a house. So if you're new to the channel, I'm a lender licensed in 48 states. If you've been here a lot, I don't know. Do I pantomime it? How do I make this spicier? Drop a comment. You guys know I always say it, but I have to. Um, okay. So what is no one paying attention to that they should? Homeowners insurance. That's my number one. Look, everybody loves to do the calculators online and they're like, oh, you know, shopping rate to like the nickel, but ignoring homeowners insurance. Guys, homeowners insurance across the country is crazy right now. Like I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Even if you're in a state where there's not a lot of drama, guess what? You're paying for all the states that have drama. So even if you own a house and you're like, oh, well right now it's only $50. Guys, the new policies are more expensive. So when you're budgeting for a house, number one, homeowner's insurance. Yes, interest rate's important. Principal interest is important. But homeowner's insurance, I feel like so many people don't pay attention to it. And it is one of the biggest deal breakers there is. Yeah. Like if you're in contract, first of all, if you're getting pre-approved with me, we're having this conversation and you're like, God, I'm stressed afterwards. No, you won't be because you'll do your research and you'll know what you're getting into. But if we have someone that comes to us and maybe we didn't do all our, you know, they just came to us in the middle or whatever, we're like, get that quote quick. You know, when you're in contract, you need to get that homeowner's insurance quote. I would say day one, because you may be like, well, I got one for another house and it was only $50. Guys, the amount the homeowner's insurance is depends on the square footage, the location of the house, the provider you pick, the deductible you choose, if the current owner has any prior claims, the age of the roof, the age of the HVAC, you know, there's so many factors that go into it. So you want to get that homeowner's insurance quote as quickly as possible. And I actually advise to my buyers, guys, when you're shopping, even if you're not going to write an offer on a house, I want you to call an insurance company, say you're thinking of writing an offer, and I want you to go through the process of what it's like to get a quote for a homeowner's insurance. It can be a lot, and you need to do that before you're in love, okay? Especially if you're on a tighter budget, you know, I've seen in certain parts of the country where the house is 200,000, but the insurance is $400 a month. No joke, guys, no joke. So really, really important, homeowner's insurance. Number two, property taxes. People don't talk about property taxes. Look, as a lender licensed in 48 states, um, they vary dramatically. You know, I have people who are moving from California. They're never prepared if they're coming to Texas with property taxes. You know, there's other states where it's like, you know, uh, Illinois, um, certain pockets of the country, the property taxes can be a little bit of an adjustment and you want to make sure you know what to expect. Pennsylvania, man, Pennsylvania, whew, you can go one block over and be in a different tax rate. We see that in New York as well and New Jersey. So property taxes are a really big deal. Now, what's important to note about these things as well is they can affect your pre-approval. So if you're working with a lender that's not saying, hey, this is what I have for taxes, this is what I have for insurance, you know, and this is what your debt to income is, you should be concerned because if those taxes come in higher, if the insurance comes in higher, you may not qualify, okay? And look, sometimes we'll have clients pushing the edge and we'll say, if it is a dollar more than this, you do not qualify. And they'll come back and it's a dollar more and we're like, guys, you don't qualify. And they're like, we thought you were kidding. No, we're not. It has just as much impact on your ability to be pre-approved as the principal and interest right? Because ultimately I'm pre-approving you off a total monthly payment. So with property taxes, I would say if you're looking in a specific county, go to the county property tax assessor website, learn about how the taxes work, speak with your real estate agent about how the taxes work. There's certain parts of the country like California where they reassess based off your purchase price. There's other parts of the country like Texas where they do reassess but it's not off the purchase price, it's off of the value the assessor thinks it is. It varies, and there's some states where it varies by county. So just as much as you're researching the lender, the real estate agent, the rates, you need to be thinking and looking at homeowner's insurance, and you need to understand the property taxes of where 
you're buying, okay? What else? Well, if you're buying a condo, HOA dues. <sighs> okay, I know I'm fiery, but it's like, I want you guys to win. I want you to succeed. I don't want you to end up in a position where you can't afford the house. And these issues right now, I think like we're going to see so many reverse mortgages in certain states like Florida um, because of how the homeowner's insurance went up, you know, condos because of HOAs going up. We're going to see people losing houses because of stuff like this. So you want to be cognizant of it. HOA dues. Okay. Whether if it's a single family home, lower risk, you know, if it's a single family home and it's in a development and the HOAs are like hundred dollars a month, it shouldn't get too dramatic where we see the drama is with condos every single time. So the condo might have really low HOAs right now. Well, guess what guys, if they have to replace a roof, if they have to increase their HOAs, which many across the country are having to do because of new standards, it's not up to you. So if you're like, well, I only could afford them at $250 a month and now they're six, guess what? You just got priced out of your house. So if you're buying a condo, you really want to be aware of the current HOA dues when they were last, last increased. Is there an increase coming up? Is there a special assessment? You know, sometimes I'll hear someone and they're like, well, I'm buying it with cash, so I don't need to worry about it. Yeah, you do. Guys, I, I don't care if your loan's a dollar. If you can only afford the taxes and insurance and HOA the way they are, and any of that goes up, you're out of your house. So you want to make sure that you are not going anywhere near the max, but you also need to make sure that as a, a buyer, you know, this is your money. This is your future. The lender, are we responsible for the insurance if it goes up? No, why would we be? We're not the insurance company. Also, we're not climate, you know, I don't, some people think it's climate change. Some people don't. We're not doing that. I am not flooding places right now. You know, I'm not starting wildfires. The lender's not doing that. So if your insurance goes up, nothing we can do. Property taxes, if you're like, well, I didn't understand the way property taxes worked. Guys, this is adulting 101, right? I'm not being tough. I'm being honest. You need to understand property taxes. It's part of owning a house. And HOA, you need to be aware if they can go up. And they always can go up. You need to know that. They can always go up. Even if they tell you right now they're not going to go up, they could go up the following year. So you need to make sure that when you're budgeting to buy a house, you're taking those items into consideration as well because it doesn't matter what I can do with the principal and interest if all of this stuff doesn't add up for your budget. So look, I don't know why it was such a spicy video. It felt spicy. Maybe it wasn't. Drop it in the comments. Was I spicy or was I just passionate? Maybe it was both or I don't know. So look, I wanted to bring that to your attention. People aren't talking about that. Lenders aren't talking about that. A lot of real estate agents aren't talking about that, but I'm telling you right now, to be able to keep your house for an extended period of time or your condo, you need to be paying attention to all of that during the buying process. Thanks for watching.